Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're talking about the Blender Game Engine. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, wait a minute, wasn't the Blender Game Engine just killed off? Didn't you just tell us it's dead? And yeah, that's exactly what I told you. Uh, back in April, I think, I released this video basically talking about how the Blender Foundation had killed off Blender Game Engine. So going forward, Blender Game Engine was going to be removed from all versions of Blender past 2.79. That means version 2.8 with all the new, you know, lovely real-time render in the form of EV, the new user interface, all that stuff is no longer going to have a Blender game engine built in. Now that's not the end of the world for people that want to do game development directly inside of Blender as there are alternatives. There's things like Armory, which is going to be working and already works with Blender 2.8. Um, there's also BDX, which is built on top of the libgdx library. Um, a bit simpler in scope from what Armory does, but again, another game engine where you work directly inside of the Blender environment to build your game. And then, of course, Blender are talking somewhat vaguely about interactive mode, which is going to bring some of the functionality that Blender game engine is known for back, but it's not going to be a full-blown game engine. So what happens to those Blender game engine developers that want to... Um, you know, continue to use Blender Game Engine. Well, the one thing that you can do is basically stick with 2.79 forever, and that's probably not ideal. Uh, fortunately, there is a project out there, and there's a lot of people that have been requesting information on that, so here is the video, uh, but it's called UPBGE, and there's an acronym soup in this video, so if I start over my words, that's why. I'm gonna have to spend, send, uh, there it goes. I have to say a lot of acronyms in this one, but UPBGE stands for Uchronia Project Blender Game Engine. This was forked back in September of 2015, basically because they just wanted to do their own things with Blender Game Engine. It hasn't really been a focus of the Blender Foundation for a long time, probably four or five years. It just it, it was kind of the redheaded stepchild ignored in the background. Um, whereas these guys basically wanted to keep going with it, wanted to add new functionality, new features to it. So they forked it. They created UPBGE. Well, with the release of Blender 2.8 coming and the deprecation of Blender Game Engine, UPBGE just sort of became the de facto version of Blender Game Engine. Uh, and it is available, as you can see, on GitHub. And the cool thing is it is under active development. You see right uh, here, you see 21 hours ago there was an update there. Um, three days ago. So you see the source code is actively being worked on. Now they work in a... Um, four months per development cycle. So basically they do three months of development, one month of bug fixing, and then do a release. And here's where it kind of comes down to it. If you go back to their website, you can download it right here. And one of the catches is it's only available for Windows and Linux. So Mac users, sorry, you're, you're just kind of out of luck. Uh, but you can just come on here, download the latest version that they have available, or you can build it from code uh, on the GitHub page. Now, I don't know if the Mac people can build from code. I don't know why there isn't a build being done, if it's just that they haven't set up a build environment, or if it's incompatible. I honestly, I don't have that information, sorry. Uh, but basically what this is, is the future of Blender Game Engine. These guys are maintaining a separate fork. So as we get further and further and further away from Blender 2.79, so when Blender 2.8 is out, UPBGE will effectively become its own product. Will they bring some of the features and functionality over from the Blender game engine? Well, sorry, from Blender 2.8 and beyond? It's possible. I know there was actually some work getting the UVE -E -E or EV, I don't know, too many acronyms. The EV real-time rendering engine was ported over to UPBGE. Ugh. Uh, at one point in time, uh, I don't know if that fork is going to make it. Hopefully it does because it's it's a beautiful, fast, real-time render. It's perfect for a game engine. So hopefully that fork makes it in, but there's no promises going forward from this point on that UPBGE will have anything to do with Blender 2.8. They obviously share common code, but Blender 2.8 is such a massive under the hood rewrite that they just, they're gonna diverge and go further and further and further apart. In fact, you can see from this sentence right here, they acknowledge that and they kind of embrace it to be honest. And I get that, it's actually a good thing for them in some ways. It says, currently after the Blender Foundation's decision to delete BGE from the 2.8 release, UPBGE becomes de facto the only one to follow the development of BGE. This gives us even more freedom if possible to make certain decisions since we will never in any way come into conflict with the official version. So what they're kind of saying there is, Hey, we're free. And so we're going to do what we want from this point on. And that's, you know, kind of admirable. Now they, they're saying here, they're the only one to follow the development of BGE. And I think that's actually true. There was another fork of BGE out there, but I think it may have died off. So, um, this is, if you want to keep working in, um, UPBGE, 
or Blunder Game Engine, this is really the only game in town now. Now, what I've done, here we show you quickly, uh, oops, that's the video. Here we go. Uh, this is UPBGE running a sample of the Sintel uh, game project in action. And you can kind of get a glimpse of how it works. I'm not going to get into details of how UPBGE works because basically it's Blunder Game Engine. So if you've got any prior experience with Blunder Game Engine, it's the exact same thing. Um, they added some functionality and uh, unfortunately their documentation isn't wonderful. Hopefully that's something they focus on in the future, especially as they diverge from default uh, Blunder Game Engine. But basically it is the Blunder Game Engine. The Blunder Game Engine is just a game engine that runs inside of Blender 2.79 or earlier. And you see here, when you pick your renderer options, instead of using Blender or Cycles or EV or whatever, they've got also Blender Game. And when you're in Blender Game, you can come in here to the logic editor like so. And basically here you see, this is just Blender. This is a 3D model armature in Blender, but it's got this logic attached to it. That's where the game engine side of things comes in. And here is how your game logic is basically coded. So you see it right here. Let me just expand it out so you can see a bit better. This is where you can add several different properties to the object. And these look like just straight up like member variables. So you've got things like um, level, status, speed, hit points, etc. So you can add your game logic and you know attributes to your game objects this way easily enough. And then your logic is actually implemented this way. Now I'm stumbling over this to a certain degree because I am no expert at Blender Game Engine. I honestly, I'm not a huge fan, um, but it does appeal to a certain number of people and I can get why. And what you've got here basically is you've got a set of sensors, controllers, and actuators that work together to basically make um, objects within Blender programmable. So you've got various different sensors we see here. So things like uh, you can use joystick or keyboard input. Uh, you can send messages or receive messages, or you can do things like have radar that scans. That's what this actual node right here is. It's scanning along the Y axis for uh, the player. So you can see how logic can be done like that. Well, you can also do ray casting, etc. And that's going to trigger off things. Here you see a controller. Controllers can be things like, uh, well, they're basically conditionals. And then over here, we got actuators. And those are things like, you know, send a message. Um, well, it's a lot of the same things. Steering, sound, state, visibility, uh, camera, action. So we got actions. I just created one. Uh, oh, where did my empty action go? There, it's down here, I think. Anyways, that is kind of um, how Blender Game Engine logic is scripted. Again, I'm not going to go into any more depth than that because I'm out of my depth when talking about Blender Game Engine. I don't really use it that much. I've played around with it several years ago. It didn't seem to be going anywhere, so I kind of ignored it. But I know there are a bunch of rabid uh, Blender Game Engine fans out there. I saw it from the comments when I basically announced that Blender Game Engine was dead. There seems to be a 50-50 split in the community. There's the 50% that says, good riddance, bad rubbish, get rid of it. Or, to help with Blender, you're ruining the best part of it what am I going to do now? I love Blender Game Engine. So you got a very divided community over what people think of Blender Game Engine. And so that's why it's great that this project actually exists so that this um, UPBGE is an option for people that want to keep developing with the Blender Game Engine or for people that haven't tried it yet. If you want to work with Blender Game Engine, well, don't worry, there is a future. People are actively developing and supporting um, the the engine's future development. I believe there's three or four primary developers that are working on this quite actively. And as you saw, they're on that four month development cycle. So you should continue to see updates to UPBGE. And it could be kind of interesting as it diverges away from the way Blank, uh, Blender Game Engine was. It'll be interesting to see if UPBGE just starts to chart its own path, becomes a more interesting engine. Now, keep in mind, if you do want to develop your game directly inside of Blender and UPBGE does not do it for you, there are options. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there is the um, Armory Game Engine, which I've done a full tutorial series, which I'll toss down below. I've never done a tutorial series on the Blender Game Engine. Um, probably not going to, to be honest, but if there's a lot of interest, perhaps I will. Let me know if you're really interested in this engine and you'd like to see something like that. And just let me know what you think of Blender Game Engine or UPBGE in general. Are you working with it? Are you glad to see it's there? Are you interested in trying out or do you just not give a damn on any level? Interested to know? Let me know in the comments down below. So finally, once again, that is the UPBGE Game Engine available at, oh, where did you go? That doesn't really matter. I will throw this link down below anyways. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, all we're here to talk about. Hope you found that interesting and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.